what is going on YouTube, Facebook, anyone that's watching. KLB Tech, back with another video. This is just a short tutorial. Um, I get asked different questions um, quite a lot and the most common ones are usually connecting Wi-Fi networks to your devices and transferring data between your internal memory and your SD card. Usually if people are sending phones off for repair, things like that, they want to be able to back their data up without worrying of receiving their phone back with nothing on there. So I'm going to show you the easiest way um, on an Android device. All you're going to want to do is access your main menu. I'm using a Sony Z2 here. Obviously there will be a slight difference between Samsung and HTC and Sony, but the general idea is exactly the same. You're going to scroll across to your settings. We're going to access that. This is going to bring you to this menu here. Again, will look slightly different, but you will have a similar layout. So I'm just going to scroll down, and what you want to click on is your storage option, which will take you here and tell you the available space, what's using what data, and if you scroll down, it will take you to the available space on your SD card. Obviously, before transferring things, you want to make sure that you've got enough space on there. Um, and if you carry on scrolling to the bottom, there will be an option for transfer data to SD card. Press on there. And it's going to bring you up with the options of photos, videos, music, um, the space required, how many files there are. And once you're happy with that, all you want to do is press transfer and that will take everything over for you. I'll show you another way if that doesn't work because at times it can be quite temperamental. Most Sony's come pre-installed with it um, but you can on Android and HTC devices receive the application through the Play Store. It's my favourite, it's really easy to use and it's called File Commander. So if we click on that one it will take you to this page here. I will tell you um, all the things you can download and transfer across to the SD card and what space and things you've got left again. So all you're going to want to do is click on your internal storage and all your pictures will be saved in a file called DCIM. Um, and then obviously you'll have files for your music and things as well. Movies, music. Once you click into one of those folders there'll be different folders so all you'll need to do is navigate where your pictures are and if you hold down the button um, for example picture it will give you an option to select all and then once that's done all you do is copy them at the bottom once you hold down one of the files it will give you an option to copy um, see at the bottom you've got folder, find, sort, filter, view and paste that will also come up with an option to copy you press copy it will confirm that you've copied one of the items or all of the items then you would go back go into the SD card and you're going to want to copy pictures into your DCIM so we go into the camera saying it's empty on here that's fine but all you would do is then press paste so you can see we've got the paste option on the bottom in the bottom right hand corner and that's it Hopefully that's been informative for you, um, to all the customers that ask me those questions, hopefully this will help you out as well. Anything else that people need to know, need to know any queries, you can email me at krbtech1892 at gmail.com. Obviously visit the YouTube page, like, share and subscribe. And that's it. Peace.